Greetings, everybody. My name is Tyler Ellison, and in today's video, we are going to look at the astrological powers that are related to our date of May 7th. So May 7th is connected to Alpha Virgins, and this is the star known as Spica. It is one of the 15 Bohemian fixed stars, and Spica is in many ways seen as a very benefic, auspicious positive star all around. Now, in lunar astrology, as you look at lunar mansions, Speak is actually given a type of malefic description. However, if I were to describe its malefic qualities, it's similar to the tarot card justice. Its malefic qualities have to do with really destroying and removing what's no longer serving you, breaking apart that which is inappropriate in your life and in your journey. So Spica has this destructive potency, but also it's seen as a star of wealth. It's seen as a star of receiving good things that you're calling forth. It's seen as a star of goodwill and love in relationships. So Spica has a lot to offer and its influences are that of Venus and Mars. So I like to think of Venus and Mars as the emperor and empress because those of course are connected through astrology to those particular tarot cards. So they are, in a certain sense, natural lovers drawn together. So we see that kind of wonderful heart alchemy here with Spica. And the tarot cards of the day, we actually have two because we're getting higher up in our number values as we continue to climb through May. We have the sun and the wheel of fortune. And these are very auspicious cards. The sun is, of course, the sun and the wheel of fortune is connected to the planet Jupiter, a wealth planet, a fun planet, a divine aligned planet that you can call upon to really bring out that beautiful uh, excitement that makes life feel inspired. Jupiter's great for that. And the sun represents advancement, moving forward in your career, in your professional status, in your relationships. Uh, the sun has some wonderful qualities. To me, the sun has always been familiar to that of Mercury. Uh, and Mercury and the sun are said to be friends. But I find that because the sun has a relationship with all of the other planets, and it's a regular relationship as it moves through the astrological wheel of the year, because of this, I feel there's this natural mercurial quality to the sun because Mercury is known as a traveling planet. It's very quick. It's, uh, it's the second fastest planet relative to us, the moon being the first. So Mercury is known as a type of social planet and it rules communication. And it is said to, in many ways, archetypally in myth and in religion, to represent the messenger of the gods, right? So it's picking up messages from the planets, right, and delivering them to Earth. So I find the Sun and Mercury have a very special relationship. So with the Wheel of Fortune tarot card, remember, this is a card of noticing and paying attention to the natural cycles that are taking place within your psychology, within your outer world, and within nature. Uh, the more you understand cycles, the more you understand the energy of our times, and the energy of specific periods of time that you're analyzing. The more you know about a specific period of time, be it the present moment or past or future, the more of the energy you're going to be able to read. So for predictive magic, for divinations, understanding cycles is of crucial importance. And through a mastery of that, a person can really know just even through a superficial scanning about the essence or nature of a particular period of time, a particular location, uh, so on and so forth. The Wheel of Fortune is also about political ascent, being able to climb into the higher levels of a hierarchical structure in a more institutional sense. And the sun, of course, is seen as universal success. So whatever you're focusing on, it's going to be good. So these are the wonderful powers connected to Alpha uh, Virginis and Spico. So take advantage of this wonderful day. Please, my friends, enjoy yourselves. And I will see you next time for our following video on the 18th. Have a wonderful year and now.